here on this Monday, the last Monday of 2020 uh, here with us here on the Market Day Report. I want to check out what's going on with the futures and then we'll bring in analysis. And our futures are provided by Bar Chart. They are live and instant quotes from the trade. Now, first of all, this corn market has uh, kind of held on to about a, a penny to a penny and a half gain for a, a, a big now we're, well, three-quarter cent higher. Now, this is one of the bigger moves we've seen so far today, 454 and a quarter on the March contract, and uh, 455 and a half is as high as we've gotten so far. But then when you go out to that new crop December, it's been hovering around a penny to a penny and three-quarter cent higher, and that's exactly where it's at right now. But we finally got above 425. We're at 426 and a quarter. On to the soybean market. And January beans are down five and a half at 1258. We got as low as 1245. So, wow, even though that this is a key reversal here today, quite a recovery. March down a nickel and May is down five and a quarter cents. So let's go on and talk about what the rest of that soybean complex looks like. And our next stop will be soybean meal. We're down $5.60 a ton at 125760 a ton. And, or, uh, I'm sorry. The, um, the let's check on the oil too because we had a, an oil uh, sale here. Well, uh, we're having a little bit of trouble here with our computer and our uh, live and instant quotes, but I do want to talk about those overnight sales. Those have been kind of big news today after going for quite a while without any overnight sales at all. Uh, soybeans, 233,700 metric ton to unknown destinations. Uh, we've got another batch of soybeans here at 125,000 metric ton to, again, unknown destinations. We did have a sale of corn also to report on the flash sales from overnight. It was an odd number, 149,572 metric ton to unknown destinations. Now, sometimes when we see these odd numbers like this, it goes sometimes can be train loads going to Mexico, but uh, nonetheless, it was marked under the unknown destination. And soybean oil, uh, 33,000 metric ton to unknown destinations. Well, let's check in with Brian Hoops, see what he thinks about these overnight sales and the action that we're seeing over here in the uh, soybean market. Brian, welcome. Hope that you had a good Christmas. What about today's activity? Hey, good morning, John. Good to talk with you again, and I uh, hope everyone had a, had a wonderful Christmas, including yourself. Yeah, you know, the, we had some private export sale announcements this morning, the first one since December 11th. And the trade had kind of been looking for something. There was rumors, I think we talked like Tuesday, Wednesday of last week about rumors that um, China had been looking around for corn and soybean products. We finally saw some uh, announcements this morning that the, they had purchased a little bit of corn, or at least it was an unknown destination, but I think everyone's going to assume it was China um, because of those rumors. And, it, you know, it's, it's uh, supporting the corn market here despite wheat being down, uh, bean oils finding a little support as well, and, uh, of course, the soybean market. We, we've seen a little bit of a profit-taking mode uh, coming back from the holiday uh, as it appears that they're going to have uh, talks on Tuesday about the uh, worker strike that's going on in Argentina, and that's enough to pull the market down. Of course, we're in a, a holiday mode, a little bit thinner volume, so it doesn't take a lot of orders to move this market. We got that uh, We got the little bit of a glitch there figured out here on our, our computer. In January, soybean meal is up 20 cents a ton at 417 a ton. And uh, Brian, you mentioned that soybean oil. Well, down four pennies right now, 100 weight at $41.80. We'll be back in a moment and continue this conversation with Brian Hoops. Stay with us here on the Market Day Report. Let's look at December live cattle on these futures uh, contracts here and see if we're still gaining. And we are 95 cents higher, 113.10. We went all the way up here to 113.25 and uh, topped out there for, for at least the time being. February fats up 95, April up 60 cents, 100 weight at 119.57. Now on to the feeder cattle market, and this market too is higher. March up $1.22 at 143.55, April up a dollar at 144.92, so, so at least a dollar gain here on these contracts, but February hogs still down 72 at 66.22, April hogs down 57, 70.52, what does this lower trend do for the technicals here today on this on this hog market here, Brian? Does it does it concern you at all technically? 
Yeah, you know, the hog market had a, a little bit of a rally there around the cold storage report and then the uh, hog and pig report that came out. So that uh, that rally, that was a breakout to the highest level since really early part of December and turned the charts uh, favorable. Now we're seeing just a little bit of a setback here. Um, we maybe were a little bit overbought, but um, technical trend, I think, trying to turn higher or stay higher here, trading just above like a 20-day moving average and, and made a series of higher highs and uh, so far higher lows. So technically a short-term uptrend intact. What's your thoughts on this cattle market over here today? It's pretty enthusiastic. Yeah, you know, Friday's uh, lower cutouts was a little bit concerning, but midday box beef uh, jumped up a little bit today, and uh, that's a supporting feature. Of course, that snowstorm that's moving through the Midwest, um, you know, in Kansas, Oklahoma, it was going to be beneficial for the wheat crop and, and giving it some moisture, but uh, detrimental for cattle feeding in, in those areas, making a, a real mess of uh, some of those feedlot conditions, and the market's putting in a little premium with that and, and little ideas that... Uh, because the last week's cash trade is so much stronger, we'll see stronger cash trade again this week. Beef cutouts, choice up a dollar, selects up 48 cents at 148.41. Those pork cutouts, you know, they were stronger here at midday too, Brian. Uh, maybe that's giving us a little bit of an indication too, because we were higher for uh, the carcasses, the loins, uh, the hams, uh, the bellies. All of that was uh, was on pretty solid ground here today too. Sure was. Yeah, we had a pretty good uh, jump there. Uh, cut out six dollars at midday. How um, I'd be surprised if we see that type of gain by the by the close. Okay. Uh, what about going into the the, the new year? Can, uh, is there something that we look for that when we turn the calendar to a new year that can take place in this protein complex? Yeah, you know, we're we're continuing to watch uh, demand and especially domestic demand for beef and for pork. Um, you know, we get a little bit of a seasonal rally in the hog market right after the first year into February. Uh, the cattle market is probably going to see bigger supplies, but the key will be is how we handle those bigger supplies. Can we offset that with strong exports and strong domestic demand? Okay, Brian, well, thank you very much. Great to visit with you and uh, glad that you had a good Christmas and uh, hope that you have a very happy new year. We'll talk to you again very soon. Christina, back to you.